What's happening, people? Today we're here with a video. And for this one, we are going to be talking about some of the changes that YouTube has been making uh, for content creators. As well as uh, some of the bad luck uh, scenarios I've been going through with internet, sometimes uh, recording, all that. Anyways, I won't try and make this too long, so let's get to it. So, first thing with YouTube. YouTube has been, you know, telling content creators to state in their videos if it's for kids or not. Well, the whole reason for that is because YouTube has actually, from what I can tell, illegal things. I went through some videos on YouTube, and I saw a lot of people making these videos on uh, saying about this could be their last video, my channel could be in serious trouble, yada yada. I ignored it all. I didn't know what was really going on. I've. I, I just thought it was just something that affected them, or maybe some sort of trend people were doing, but uh, I just didn't really pay attention to it, and that was a big mistake. Because uh, I got a copyright strike on my video, I'm not sure if this uh, is the same um, reason why uh, YouTube is doing this, but basically one of my videos got copyright striked. Uh, it showed me that in this section of the video that it got copyright striked for this reason. And I looked back at it and was like, what? Nothing on this video is copyright striked. At all. There's no background music from other sources. There's no, there's nothing, uh, no uh, uh, symbols or logos or anything of this other sorts. It's just me talking and a playthrough of Pokemon. Sure, yes, I didn't really state that the video was owned by Nintendo and Game Freak in the description or anything like that. But out of all videos, only this one was copyright striked, whereas my others were not throughout this entire playthrough. So I this that doesn't make sense. Something's going on. I even looked back at my video in comparison to others, and mine's is almost no different. So I'm wondering what is going on. I looked back at it and I've looked into all of this uh, stuff about people saying their channel made me in serious trouble. Maybe this could be related to it. And I did look into it, and it says that YouTube went with this uh, went through through this dilemma with uh, Kappa, which is I believe this organization that just uh, basically goes after people who do not do uh, the good thing good things around children. I don't, whatever. Basically, YouTube was advertising that it was made for children, even though some of its viewers weren't. And well. Kappa stepped in, and they, uh, uh, you know, they fined YouTube millions of dollars because they were stating, because YouTube was stating that their videos are for kids when it really isn't. So they paid millions of dollars in a fine because of it. And so now YouTube does not want to pay that much money again because you know they're a company; they're in the business of making money. They don't want to pay money from something like this, obviously. <laughs> so what they did is they went to their content creators. And they uh, can, and then now, from what content creators do, now needs to be stated whether or not if the video is for kids or not. And if the video is for kids, then you have to state. If it's not for kids, then you have to state that. Otherwise, you get fined. And I'm not sure how they find you. I'm guessing they take it out of your paycheck because YouTube does pay you sometimes. It pays their content creators, uh, the, depending on how many subscribers or you have on your channel. And, or maybe they send you some sort of fine in the mail. I have no idea how it works, because I've not been fine. But, um, basically that's what happens uh, if you, you know, don't apply, apply yourself to, to those rules. Because, uh, this is how it usually works. I mean, this is how it works from what I can tell. Basically, Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon videos that I make. If I state that it's not for children, even though it is... YouTube will say, hey, this video is for kids, buddy. So we're going to put this video on a very specific section of YouTube that is made for children. And they cannot comment on the video. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't know what was going on. It's basically called YouTube for Kids. That's basically what uh, this per uh, specific um, section, specific section of YouTube is called. YouTube for Kids. And I don't want my videos being put there. I'm not sure if they're put there and advertise it towards kids only, or if they're on both sides of the spectrum, being both on the base, the fall of YouTube, which is probably what you're using right now to watch this video, 
or if it's only seen on YouTube Kids. I, I don't want my videos being specifically there, nor do I... I just, and nor do I want my videos to have the restriction of not being commented on. So, basically I'm going to say that my videos are not for kids. That way they can stay on the base to follow YouTube. I don't care if there's not, I don't care if they're not on the other section of YouTube. But, because, uh, you, you know, that's where most people see their videos on YouTube at. The base to follow YouTube, not YouTube for kids. Who's watching this video on YouTube for kids? Raise your hand. So... <laughs> Basically, I want my videos to be stay normal. I don't want to be part of any of this. But the thing is, if you state that your video is for kids but it isn't, your video will get fined. And that's big. That can hinder you. Uh, it turns out you have to pay thousands of dollars if that does happen. And obviously, I'm not going to be in that situation. My videos aren't going to be like that at all. Even if I state that it is or it is not for children, yeah, if I state that my videos are are or not for children, uh, I won't be paying money because saying that they're not for children is more of an opinion. And I don't know if you if you get fined regardless if you say that it's not for children, even though it is. Um, from what I looked at from other YouTubers and what they're saying about this, I don't know, really know. I'm saying I'm thinking that if. It makes more sense if you get fined because you say it's for kids, but it isn't. Saying that it isn't for kids, but it is, is an opinion. Maybe. I don't know. But basically, um... You can get fined for this for thousand dollars. That's a big deal. That's very serious. But, uh, YouTubers who really upload content that is for adults, like shooter games or just, uh... Um, other games with adult content and stuff like that. Basically, um, those people like those, or should I say, YouTube uh, content creators like those, they, they are not affected by this at all. So they're perfectly fine because all they have to do is say that their videos are not for YouTube and they're not for YouTube. So YouTube won't uh, say anything about it. They won't touch those videos. You're per perfectly fine. Your videos should be seen on the base the fall of YouTube. But videos like mine's. Uh, Pokemon they can't be regarded for children only or should I say they should be they can be regarded as for children So you two may come at me about it. I don't really know people like Shofu uh, Who is another? Poketuber I should say <laughs> Basically he uploads um, videos on Pokemon and stuff like that But the thing is though if you watch Shofu his videos aren't really meant for children <laughs> He cusses he swears um, There's he does do that. If you don't know him, you, you can check him out. He basically does cuss a lot. Or at least not him himself. He probably doesn't cuss. But there is language on his video sometimes. So really he's not built for children. Not entirely. Not small children, at least. I would say 13 and up. Um, me, on the other hand, I don't really cuss too much. I do. But... Sometimes I try to keep it as mild as possible, and I do make my videos look flashy, and I try to um, actually present them towards children. Uh, so YouTube may catch on to that and say that it's for kids, and they may direct it for YouTube for kids, which is YouTube's specific section of uh, built for children, and I don't want that. I want my videos to stay on the basis of YouTube, so I don't know how this will affect me or not. Um, because I haven't seen any Poketubers really upload about this. I'm guessing they're gonna do what I do right now. Because my older videos of Pokemon, basically I saw that their restrictions say, uh, not for children. So I'm guessing, okay, so those videos stay on the basis of YouTube then. Because this is before even this even began. So I'm guessing, okay, so my videos stay on the basis of YouTube. They're not built for children, they're on the base of YouTube. And for the videos I've been making up to this month, uh, they, I stated that they are built for children, so I'm thinking maybe that's why my video, why my videos got copyright striked. Um, because I got copyright strike, that's the whole reason why I'm making this video. Um, I'm thinking that's what happened, and okay, so I guess what I'll do now is state that my videos are not for children. I was ignorant to that fact. I didn't really know what was going on. I thought, okay, maybe this is just some new thing YouTube is doing. Maybe they, they want um, 
They want you to state if your videos are for kids or not, just to advertise them more for children, or or something like that. I thought my videos wouldn't be affected too much by this, but it turns out they really are. Because they did get copyright striked for no reason, actually. <laughs> And I'm not sure if this copyright strike, because copy, obviously a copyright strike is you claiming or you using material from another source that uh, claims that as theirs. But obviously that doesn't go with this whole Kappa thing. My, I thought it was state that my video is has language in it or not built for children, but it doesn't state that either. I actually got emails saying that this video was copyright striked because of the studios saying that it was theirs or whatever. It didn't say Nintendo or whatnot, it said something else, like Studio 7 or whatever. I'm not sure what that meant at all. I'm guessing that was a complete um, misunderstanding, because my video that was copyright striked and taken off YouTube is now back onto my channel. Uh, a couple days later, the video just, just came back from the blue. I was like, because I didn't see it on my playlist that I added it into, and now I'm seeing it. A couple days later, I didn't upload, re-upload it or nothing. It just came right back to YouTube. I was like, "What? What's going on here?" And so I'm guessing it was just a mishap or just a misunderstanding or whatever. But that whole dilemma is taken care of. I looked into it, and this is a huge, impactful thing that's going on with YouTube right now with Kappa. Uh, I believe that's what it's called. I hope I'm not misunderstanding that. I hope I'm not getting that company's name wrong or whatever company, organization, whatever. But uh, right now, I think I'm fine. All I have to do is say that my videos are not for children, like I previ like they previously are, because my past videos, they don't say that they are for children. So I'm guessing that's how you get your videos into the base default of YouTube. You just say that they're not for, uh, um, made for children. That way they don't go straightly, uh, straight to uh, YouTube for kids, where they can't be commented on or anything like that. You don't want any of your videos like that. So I think I'm fine, and I will just do this for now. But I hope YouTube doesn't take my videos and put them there. You know, YouTube for kids. Because I heard that's what can happen, for at least from my understanding. I didn't look too in-depth with all this. In-depth? Whatever. <laughs> oh man, so I hope I'm not misunderstanding or misinterpreting something. But that's what I heard from other YouTubers saying about this whole situation. Um, I should be fine. I just have to say that it's not for children. So far, so good. Because none of my videos are getting um, claimed for anything or nothing bad happened. And I don't want another copyright strike on my videos because that can really affect you. If you get multiple copyright strikes, you're done. Uh, your channel will get taken off the face of the earth. <laughs> and I will have to I will lose my channel of hundreds of subscribers. I don't want to spend I don't want to waste three years of my channel. For something so stupid. So whatever that copyright strike was, I think it was just a misunderstanding because I'm not copyright struck anymore. Or at least my video is back on the YouTube. Uh, I'm look I'm gonna look back and see if I'm still copyright striking for that dilemma. But I think I'm fine. And I think I just state that my videos are not for children. That way they stay on the base of the fall of YouTube. Like my other videos. And everyone can comment on them and everyone's fine. Everything's fine. Maybe that's what I can do. I just hope I'm not too affected by this. But this this does change YouTube, and this does change a lot of YouTubers, um, a lot of YouTubers, on, that, on how they upload videos. And video. uh, because obviously nobody wants to make a video where they can't get commented on, and on on that video and stuff like that. Like no, nobody wants that. So I think for now I'm fine. Um, so far so good. My videos are great. Nothing's been copyright striked. Nothing has been changed i think i'm good so if in also if you're dealing with that too check your other older videos or if not do what i'm doing just say your videos are not for you uh, not for children and for youtube uh, that means under the age of 13 just state that your video is not for children or if it is and you want your videos to be shown to small children then go ahead say it's for children but if you want your videos to stay on the base the fall of youtube say it's not for children but anyways, I think I'm good. And I think I got it all figured. So I was dealing with that for probably like a, a day and a half. And it was pretty annoying. The other situation was a series of bad luck. So I lost my internet. The software I was using to record um, my walkthrough with uh, corrupted my videos. And 
yeah, well, yeah, that basically happened. <laughs> and also, uh, my brother. So, first things first, my brother, he lost his job. And because he lost his job, I was forced to pay hundreds of dollars for the phone bill he was on with me. So basically, I had my, I had my phone bills, and I, I was paying off so much money. He was with me on my plan, and well, I, I thought I was doing a good favor to him by helping him get a phone and whatnot. Uh, turns out he he bought multiple people in my family a, a phone as well on my plan as well. And he said he will pay for the bills. And I'm like, all right, as long as you can do it. And then he lost his job, and now I was forced to pay off those bills for about four or three months. And the bills were like $350 every time. And I was paying so much money, so I just had to stop that entirely. And also, it's because of how much money I was spending at that, because of all of that, um, I couldn't afford better internet. And the truth is, he was paying for the internet. He was paying for that as well. But he lost his job and he couldn't pay for the internet anymore. And because I was dealing with those bills he left on me, I couldn't afford that either. And so, I was I had no internet for about um, two months. It, but now I do have internet, which is how I'm uploading right now. But the problem is this upload speed and the speed of this internet entirely is so slow. So I can't upload videos on how I want to. So it is going to take more time processing all of it. <laughs> and so that's also cutting me back. And the software, I was using Elgato software, and it was corrupting my files. Because the software for Elgato is crap, it's complete trash. And so I corrupted the files, And so, but luckily I was able to get the videos back, and now I'm able to re-upload them. They're going to come out poor quality, but I'm still able to bring them back. And the other dilemma is, well I, I fixed that whole dilemma now with Elgato gaming software. All I'm doing now is using a different software, and I think my videos won't be corrupted anymore, hopefully. And the other dilemma is that um, I am, I, I'm having a hard time recording because I have a niece who cries a lot, and it's hard to upload videos professionally because of it. And I don't like to be interrupted while I'm recording. I really don't. So, it is hard finding times to upload videos on a professional setting or how, on how I want to upload them. So I'm sorry about all that, people. Um, but right now I think I'm, I'm trying to get things back. I'm gonna get my internet back to, to uh, I'm gonna get my internet back for a better upload speeds and I also want to stream so I will try and get that started as well. I want to thank you guys uh, for watching this video. I, I try to keep this keep this as minimal as possible but I was trying to be thorough in explaining all of this. So uh, I'm gonna end the video now. I want to thank you guys for watching. Like, I'm gonna get my internet back, try and stream. I will be uploading on that. And I have more ideas if I can actually pull it off. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll be back. Peace.